ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous, clutching shadows hey everyone, I'm Alfred. of the darkest dungeon. Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Sorry, I was running a video and it started playing automatically. Um... Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. For those who don't know, Darkest Dungeon is about begging the best of bad situation. Quest will fail or must be abandoned. Heroes will die, and when they die, they stay dead. Progress autosaves constantly, so actions are permanent. Game expects a lot out of you. How far will you push your adventurers? How much are you willing to damn you? Hey, Darkest Dungeon. So, Darkest Dungeon is one of my favorite roguelikes. Turn this the hell now. Yep. Um, it's also one of the better uh, Cthulhu games like out there. Okay, what did I click on? I don't know what the Butcher Circus is. I haven't played since this DLC came out. So uh, when we play in the actual game, um, hello, video game. Hey, we're back. All right. So I'm going to multiplayer battles. What the hell? All right, I'm gonna turn that off. Um, I'm gonna turn Crimson Court. This stays in its own lane. These are new characters, and I like both of them very much. And the districts are coming, so we're gonna leave those. Um, I'll go with Radiant. So yeah, Darkest Dungeon is one of the best uh, Cthulhu games ever. Uh, maybe better than Bloodborne. I don't think it's better than Eternal Darkness. Um, it's very well made. The art is so grim and You will awful. arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. Such a there good... There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old grasp road. of scary dialogue. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps Sorry, other... This author's name is uh, this uh, narrator's name is Wayne June. They recruited him because all he did prior to this was a bunch so of audiobooks for H.P. Lovecraft. Remember, there can be no bravery 
without madness. The old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Um. So yeah, basically more of the same. Old road. Stagecoach control. Stagecoach destroyed, and the caretaker gone. You'll have to make the journey to the ham on foot. So the hamlet is just the town where this takes place. Um, and this is like one of the most cursed areas in the history of God. Uh, because there are so many dungeonous areas right next to it. There's the darkest dungeon. That's the big one. Yeah. But there's a bunch of other ones right next to it. So we got Reynold and Dismas. They have two rations with them. And they will explore this little thing. Brigands have run up these so we lanes. were in this room. Keep to the side now we're going to this room. Just ahead. So we got to pass through this little hallway here. When we see spooky stuff, we take stress. The right we see that we have it there. Returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. So we've got a whole bunch of moves here. So open vein, just slash him. Low damage, but he starts bleeding. And then Crusader, Confidence big damage. Surges as the enemy crumbles. And then we've only got so much space in our inventory for the loots. So let's switch to Dismas. Let's loot it. Neat. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. See, over time, the light will go down, and that makes the game totally different. So how do I... Oh, oh, right. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. So we've got a few moves here. Grape shot will hit both of them. This will allow us to tank. This will stun dudes. This will hurt the first two dudes. But the thing is, because this guy is so huge, he actually takes up two slots. We can't actually hit that guy. So we'll just work on him. Because what else are we going to do? And yeah, we've been knocked back now. So, based on this thing, you can see that he still has a move left. So, we could stun him. It won't work, but we could. God damn, man. So, because uh, Reynold has been debuffed, he, is, he has lower health. Yeah, we've killed him, and then, uh, the yeah, point. there's a corpse here. So we have to chew through this corpse before we can actually get to the next guy. But we could also just work on him with that. This guy could kill us, but it isn't very likely. I think this might just destroy the corpse. There's some move that just gets rid of corpses, and it's very useful. But yeah, now he's right up here with us. The Sorry. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. So we've completed the quest, but we're going to do this just to make sure. This is a... I think that this is kind of a weird mechanic where you can miss out on treasure. I don't like that. So yeah, these things are sold back, and these are paid off, and then these things are different crafting items. So Dismas has become unerring. 
So that's cool. Uh, Dismuth, Dismuth is a biblical name, I believe. It refers Welcome to the penitent home, thief. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. And you are So yeah, we've got a we've got a whole bunch of uh, stuff to do here. Most Nobody's dead yet. Hallelujah. Here, covered in the poisoned earth. Uh, stagecoach is where we get fresh guys. So right now we only have these two. Can we upgrade this? Fools and corpses. Yes, we can. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. In Ancestors' time, memoirs are just. This is how you look at the cutscenes. Failings. Trinkets and charms gathered Ooh, from all the forgotten corners of the earth. The yeah, Blacksmith Guild Sanitarium. So this will. These two will cleanse shit off of your heroes. This will upgrade their skills, and this one will upgrade their weapons. All right. Um, can we put any more money in here? Damn. Oh well. That's fine. So yeah, you're guaranteed to get this party whenever you start. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. All right. So we just want to explore 90% of the room. So let's put the guys on. Yeah, so that's the usual suspects. So let's see here. What do we got? So camping skills are things that only take effect when you have a short rest. Ah, oh, useful. Cool. So yeah, Darkest Dungeon, Ruins, Warrens, Farmstead, Weald, and Cove. The farmstead is uh, the DLC area. It is not meant to be done right now. The wield is this weird... It's Blight Town. The warrens are gross, meaty underbelly. The cove is where fish guys hang out. And the ruins are where uh, zombies are. The cost of preparedness measured so you need to actually... Later buy blood. food for your guys. I'll take two shovels. Take some torches. Yeah, anything that you don't use will be sold back. But not for the same amount. It's a short dungeon though, so shouldn't be that big of a deal. But yes, um, this is one of my favorite roguelikes. I've never beaten it, despite the fact that I've started multiple playthroughs. I've never actually finished one. Um, so what I'm going to do is, sorry, I'm stupid. So what I'm probably going to do, um, I'm going to play a whole bunch of this off camera. A fortune waiting to be spent. Fortune. Sure it is, man. So, Skultons. Oh, for God. So they surprised us. So our whole party composition is just all kinds of fucked up. So we have to move back. Sure. So why did we, why did this happen to us? Let's try this, huh? It's the base damage. So later on, uh, the Crusader actually gets a move wherein... Be gone, fiend. <laughs> nice. The Crusader actually gets a move where if he's at the back of the party, he can charge forward and do a bunch of damage. And it's... Another one Nice. Not bad. Thank you. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Nice, nice. So 
So yeah, this Even the cold stone clearing it by hand would hurt us, passage. but we got a shovel. It would also make us take stress damage. So cultists are annoying, but they're not so bad. All right, so now we actually get to use this. So blight is poison. Blinding gas will stun dudes. Battlefield medicine is a heal, but it's primarily used for clearing uh, status effects. And then we got this. Yeah, that's a move that'll clear corpses. Damn. We got three guys here, and we've got this move that hits the first three guys, so... Why not just start work on them, huh? Damn it. Okay, cool. So yeah, Stressful Incantation is an annoying, annoying ability. Continually okay. onslaught. Destroy them all. Uh, but yeah, it's a very annoying ability wherein... It'll just make you take stress damage. And when the stress bar fills up, bad shit starts to happen. But luckily, you can see Crusader has bonus damage against Unholy, which these guys count as, as you can see there. Back to the pit. So this should clear these corpses, I think, right? Yeah, there you go. So now she's right up here with us. And she can't hit us for anything. That's good. Uh, let's have you heal her. Just to make sure. Open that vein up. Just beat her, Marinald. Alright. Journal page. The assault was overwhelming. With Cuthbert slain and Bolin fell, I was driven by rage. I, s I leapt and drove my axe into the creature's many eyes. Purple ichor splashed my face, and my very soul shook as it bellowed. The only thing I recall after was falling swiftly into blackness. In radiance, may we find victory. So if you can't tell, light is a big thing in the darkest dungeon. Ooh. Damn you. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, Reynold and Dismas are the only two people you're guaranteed to get a hold of. You're guaranteed to get uh, these guys afterwards. So yeah, one damage, but 22 stress. That's an amazing name, by the way. Rend for the old gods. That's so cool. Hmm. Look at that. Perfect. Ah, oh, but it pulls him forward. Whatever, that's fine. Yeah, Dismas and Reynold are the only ones who are guaranteed to show up. Uh, and Reynold has a problem where he won't stop stealing shit. That's really annoying. As the fiend falls, a faint hope Dismas is a biblical name. He's named after the penitent thief, I believe. I'm worried about that, so I'm just gonna... You're usually guaranteed to get more loot for using a key. Otherworldly corruption. So there's a trap there. So we should bear that in mind. Dismas being a thief is... Better at unlocking traps. And yeah, it's helpful. Pop a little more on there. So some people do builds where you go in complete darkness. Someone's texting me. For God's sakes. Um, so some people will do things where the party is moving in total darkness. Some people will do things where 
you're built around having more light. More light is generally safer, but it's never a guarantee. So yeah, just the way that you move from place to place is... Oh, we surprised them. Cool. So that means that we're guaranteed to hit a little more, I believe. So you cannot bleed skeletons easily. It is possible to do it, but it's a little harder. But you can blight them. Which I guess makes sense because it's more like a like acid, I suppose. Nice, look at that. Damn you. So yeah, they still go, which is annoying. Why are you bullying Picard? No! Why are you bullying Picard? How dare you? Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I guess I'll just heal myself. I feel confident in saying that these guys can handle it. You can handle it, right? You can, good. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Please, hit my tank more. That's what he's there for. My god, you can't heal yourself? Why'd I do that? That was stupid of me. Right. The promise of safety. Jesus. All right. Luckily, these nightmarish creatures can be felled. We got this. They can be beaten. Actually, wait. Let's have you do it. Water reinvigorates the hero. Look at that. Nice. Perfect. So yeah, she lost 14 stress and gained 10 health. So that's good. But something we can also do. We can eat food. Uh, but you want to keep some food on you because you need to... You actually do need to eat. In the darkest dungeon. It's very annoying. You will just randomly, like... Oh, wow, look at that. Some It, it is completely random and it's very annoying. It'll just tick and be like... Hey, you gotta eat now. Oh, are we out of torch? That's not good. Um, it's a pain in the ass. Because sometimes you'll eat to fill everyone's health up, and you'll eat all your food doing so, but because there isn't actually a hunger bar, it doesn't count as eating for the sake of the game's purposes. So it'll be like, hey, you gotta eat again. It can just randomly tick up after you've already eaten. But because you already ate, and it didn't count, you don't have the food to eat. Damn you. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Damn you. You motherfucker. Yeah, I'm worried about the torch. See, we get more loot. Yep, there you go, see? So, if we had filled up our health, we wouldn't have that. So we're in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna get this last thing here. So we've got a shovel, so we don't need to worry about that. Because normally we would take a lot of health damage. So let's uh, let's do some of this as well. Take some buff. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder. The okay, this guy's a prop. Tempting Goblet is a prop. Only five damage, but a shitload of stress. Look at that shit. It's awful. Um, let's hit you. A momentary abatement. And then play grenade can actually now do its job and hit two people. And now they're blighted. Um. Yeah. 
Oh my god! And that means that we take stress damage, of course. Why are you bullying Picard? It's not over. Stop saying that, please. All right. What am I doing? Let's do this. So that'll protect me and make it so people want to hit me, but I'm protected, so it doesn't matter. So what about you? You are going to take four damage, but you have four health. Let's see what we can't do to you. Yep. So you're stunned, so your next turn will be nothing. And... Let's just solve that problem. And then the problem solved. Look at that. Perfect. Enemies you kill with crits do not take um, take up space in the party. Um, yeah, she does need the health. Thank you for hitting him. So look at that, only two damage because we had protection. So it is possible to make skeletons bleed, but you have to spend a lot of time stacking um, stuff on them. But a victory nonetheless. Let's have you eat that just to get that out. Sly patch. Nice. All right. Um, discard that. And now we're done here, right? Yeah, we're done. Cool, look at that. First of many victories, and a collection of treasured artifacts. So we got some good shit. Okay, we sold these back. Got all these heirlooms. Those will be used in crafting. And let's see what happened to these guys. Dismas has a, blush a Blutomania. He's obsessed with cleanliness. Or Reynald is. And Dismas ignores stealth because he's a Twilight Dreamer. I don't know what that means, but that's radical. Alright, so yeah, fly, negative quirks. And the corpse wagon. Butcher Circus. Traveling circus arrived on the outskirts. The circus has come to town. Alright, so yeah, these are all of the bosses. Pretty much. So Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Butcher Circus. Yeah. I just wanted to get Fresh kegs. Cards and so, rooms promise solace the caretaker the is uh, alike. Goinkin. And we could apply things here to get some stuff on. But anything we do will make it so as a risk associated with it. So we need to get Picard's stress off. Picard the Abbey can also provide some stress relief. Cloister, straight. you know, just... Lock him down, meditate, to the transept, just pray, or penance hall. Uh, whip yourself. But let's see what the stagecoach has for us. Antiquarian. Antiquarian is okay. Hellion is good. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make Houndmaster is okay, and um, I'll take Antiquarian just so we can have people to sack she off, I guess. where others will not go. And sees what others will not see. Sorry, did I not put you in the tavern? No, okay. So yeah, um, doing this has risk of them becoming an alcoholic. Doing this has a risk of making them have a gambling addiction. Or losing you additional money. Or in some cases, gaining you money. Uh, and this has a chance of them becoming weird sex pests or alternatively sometimes they'll get creepy or they'll get uh <laughs> Shireen cloak and sun cloak cool they'll get like um STIs, I guess. That is the DLC. We'll do that later. So yeah, we got the ruins. 
So we got skirmish, scout, cleanse, and cleanse. What's this? Bloodthirst ring. Ooh. Worry stone. Healing amulet. I like the leper. The witch's vial. I like the plague doctor. What does the antiquarian even have? Nervous stab. Get down. Fortifying vapors. Protect me. I guess you can be our buffer. Um, so yeah, you can go to the darkest dungeon at any time. But people will be like, please don't. Something kind of annoying. The darkest dungeon will um, make it so that a will make it so that a character who has gone to the darkest dungeon cannot return. It's very annoying. Let's get some more torches. We ran out last time. Embark. So yeah, um, this is the game. You do a run of the dungeon on the weekends, during the week, come back. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, well, that's foreign. nice and easy, straight line. It's one of you guys. Oh, we surprised him though. So Hellion's cool. She's just a cool, big, buff, angry axe lady. I love that. You know I do. Alright, bomb of the night. Bonk. Not terrible. Jesus. She has a lot of damage. As the fiend falls, a faint hope. Minor antique. Worth money and munches. Cool. Ah, oh, great. Got croup. Minus 20 damage. That's eh, okay. You weren't doing that much anyway. Obsessed with self worship and plus 10 damage to any melee skills. Weird. I don't like antiquarians that much. Um. I think their main thing is that they just let you carry more treasure. Which is kind of cool. Um, and I normally do enjoy heroes or characters like that. Let's perform some experiments. Or drag a thing here. What about that? Whatever. laden with loot are often low on supplies I know Wayne okay you're a problem you do a lot of damage you do damage and you're annoying let's buff you up because this is going to be quite a fight Just soften them up with one of those. Nice. Like that. Oh, cool. And you're, you're not going to make it another round. Let's hit it with one of those. As just to make sure. Purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Oh, Jesus. That's so not cool. Nice. Look at that. Give them no Solid. Water. Cool. Cool. I know that I'm not going to make this skeleton bleed easily, but 
it will be nice to just do some damage and that move hits there. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh my god! So something that is kind of nice is that um characters who get knocked down to zero HP don't die automatically. It is very, very convenient. Confidence surges as Jesus Christ. Wealth beyond measure. What can we even do? Awarded to just brave and pour some food down your gullet, right. I guess. I don't want to lose a Hellion already. I don't want to lose a character already. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Use another one of those. Yeah. Why not? Hmm. Nice. You love to see it. And let's just make sure that I stay up. Promise of safety. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, damage. Shame. Also not bad. Why you gotta be bullying her? Oh, that's not good at all. Um, hmm. Nice. Just solve the problem there. I don't mind. Bully Dismas some more. I'm aware. Luckily, I've got a bandage on me. Could have also done that. That might have been smarter, even. Whatever. Just get rid of that guy, huh? Then we gotta just start chewing through these dudes. Oh my god! Dude! Why not? Jesus, there we go. Okay. Alright. But a victory nonetheless. What a hassle, man. On to the next. Oh, yeah, let's... Damn. Littering oh, cool. gold, trinkets and baubles. Littering gold. Paid for in blood. This guy's a problem, too. Why? <laughs> Why must you do this? That's not good. Oh man. Oh god, oh man. Let's just hit with one of those. 
the match is I feel so unsafe, man. A blazing star is born. It really does do an excellent job of illustrating how shitty it must be to live in an awful, awful Cthulhu world. What's your favorite part of this? Mine is how they, I haven't done any damage to these fuckers. Lead? Yes. I can take that. Oh, I didn't even need to. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. God damn it. So hitting a guy a second time with a bleed attack will actually stack the bleed on him, which I really like. God, Dismas is just getting play like played with here. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Oh jeez. I can take that. Dismas has taken more damage than I really would think he they than I think Dismas would normally be comfortable with, you know? Yeah, get him. Nice. Oh, Jesus. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I'm getting my little ass whooped, man. Curio, room battle with Curio. Yippee skip. On the plus side, we needn't worry about. Great. I forgot what we don't need to worry about. Oh, great. You guys are. Good, good, like that. Let's see if we can't work on bleeding you dry. So because he's so big, he takes up two slots, but that actually means that he counts for this slot, so we can hit him again. And now, all that bleed is stacked on him, and he's taking that much more bleed. Okay, it's fine. I can take that. That could be a problem. Oh my god! Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Staggering force. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't want to lose right now already. <laughs> Shut up, Wayne. Damn you. Oh, God. As life ebbs, terrible vistas. Yeah, I'm aware your wounds are mounting. I guess I'll just buff myself <laughs> for all the freaking good it'll do me. The greater the glory. Okay, good. Not bad at all. Thank you for not giving up. Damn you. Hell yeah. I just want to get that out of the way. Let's put one more on me. And let's hit you. Jeez, what a hassle. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Nice. 
see, I want to keep going. Because you do. You want to. Yep, let's reset the party order. Fuck. Well, that's going to be a problem. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. All right. Got bleed on him. That's good. Yep, sure, hit me. Oh my god, and I'm bleeding. Is this to be my last battle? Maybe. And, uh... Great. Varal is now selfish. True, I'm here for glory, but a warrior must eat. What do you mean, dude? Oh, great. Take them, too. Well, that's not good at all. I need a bandage. Fresh out, honey. Um, have that. Though. All right, maybe that'll. Oh, for goodness sake! Thank you. Damn it. Oh my god, it's going so poorly. Survival well, he's dead. Is a tenuous proposition in yep. this sprawling tomb. Discretion is the better part of valor. So yeah, it might be better to run away. I'm not going to yet. Oh yeah, bring it on. Yeah, look at that. Soak it in, huh? Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Thank you. Thank you. Open that vein, huh? It never stops, does it? So if you get to 200 stress... Are you fucking joking me? If you die, it'll be your own fault, you know? So what's next? Curio and a trap. Let's keep going then, huh? The way is lit. The path is clear. We require all the books. strength to follow it. Whatever. Thank you. What's next? We don't know, do we? Fantastic. In radiance, may we find victory. Nothing, huh? Food? Ah, loot. Perhaps better. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So is there going to be, like, uh, nothing in here? Yeah, great.
The shifted corridors and sloped walls of the <sighs> are beginning to feel familiar. Lost Reynald. Let's see what happened to these guys. Spiritual. That's cool. Wheel tactician and a gambler. Well, I guess you're going gambling then. She has paid yeah. Dearly for her freedom. That deserves better than this place. Are you kidding me? You're a jack off. Alright, guess we're not taking Veral anywhere. Wrong place. Stodge coach. Oh, hey. I was finally playing uh, Village. Hey, another Crusader. A mighty the Abomination is cool, and I like the Plague Doctor as well. A zealous warrior. Snake Oil and Moon Ring. So this is an item all for having shit low. I like it. So this... So this is the normal nomad wagon. They sell stuff. And then this is things you buy with crystals from the DLC. The so we got the blacksmith. Once again. We can upgrade this the forge now. Stands ready to make weapons of war. Um, beep. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. Uh, oh, they can't even do it. Uh, let's put you in here. Yeah, they have to be level something. Yeah, and as soon as we start to unlock more of these, we can actually get new recruits that'll have stuff. Make no mistake. And then these, we, we can make sure that they have the skills that we want. Threats. Our soldiers must be ready. So yeah, Holy Lance is rad. That's the move I was talking about where you dash forward. It's basically a stinger. Yeah, and we can upgrade. Should have done that first. In fact. Paramount if one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. So you can also upgrade them. So that's cool. So you can see that she won't go in here. She just doesn't care. You, on the other hand, get some cloister in. She's sick, too. What a pain in the butt. Um, let's put Dismas here and just start drinking. Card, you can pray. And you'll just suffer, I suppose. So yeah, um, that's basically the long and short of Darkest Dungeon. Ooh. So, that's cool. How do you work, my friend? See, so they bubble in where he can stand. I like that. I think that's really cool. So I won't be able to use Blackjack, but that's fine. But yeah, that's basically what Darkest Dungeon is. Um, I'm going to play a lot of this off screen because I love this game. Uh, and it'll also help me show off what this is like. But this is one of my favorite roguelikes. Um, it really, really helps put you at the heart of a... Fuck you, girl. It really helps to put you at the heart of a spooky, scary uh, Eldritch Horror Abomination. And that's great. I love that. But yeah, um... As you can tell by the video's runtime, this is the end of it. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. Darkest Dungeon, uh, specifically. Um, it's good. Give them your money. Get hyped for Darkest Dungeon 2. That's coming out. I know for a fact it is. Um, I think we're still waiting on news, but... Let's get it started in here. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.